Hey guys, welcome back and thank you so much for joining in to our YouTube channel and you're looking obviously at the Tai Chi videos that we have. So we have them all listed. If you're a Kung Fu person, go to the Kung Fu Kids section, Tai Chi section. But let's talk about Tai Chi today. Oh, but let me remind you, if you're not subscribed to our station, click that little subscription bell and then it'll also notify you whenever we post new videos. So what we're going to do today is focus on the chin form, the one that we do here at the school. And I'm gonna break it up in a series of videos, what I call just good practice size snippets of the form, maybe 20, 30 moves or so, so that you can review it, obviously still come to class or join us on Zoom. And then when you're training at home and you're like, oh, I forgot what the next move is, you can refer to the YouTube channel and get the videos and of course share this with your friends let everybody know they can watch us on YouTube and hopefully it'll inspire them to find Tai Chi somewhere if they live out of town so what I'm going to do is we're filming it facing the mirror so that way you get both a front and back view of the form and hopefully this will help you out so I'm going to start at the beginning and go through it and just talk us through it enjoy So of course you do your three breaths. I just did one just to have us on, not have to be here for that long. And then of course we go to our rise and fall. Inhale here. I'm sinking in both legs. I'm turning to my left, reeling still. Stepping back, reeling still. Sinking down. Stretch, horses main left. Now I'm pressing here, of course, see so you're working balance. And lift that right knee again. Deep breath here. Priming the mortar. So now we're 50-50 in our legs. Rolling, scattering stars, right side. The waist turns all the way. Each one, I'm reading the scroll here. So it's like you're mimicking a scroll in your arms. Pivoting to my left. Pressing forward three times. That's one. Two. Here's my inhale. Exhale as I'm rolling forward. I turn to my right, crossing the heart. Single whip while climbing the hill. Lift right knee, flinging the body. Exhale. Breathing still. where I rise above the sea, offer the fruit, wave forward, gathering chi, so we're going to read the scroll again, pivoting back around to the right, fold the scroll over, punch it, hinder with elbow. Stretching the wire, looking to my left, reeling so left, right, flashing the back, one of my favorite moves. Press here, and I'm coming up with my left palm as I bring my left foot in. I'm going to then place the weight evenly on both feet here. Now, let me show you. When I came up here, I'm pressing. I'm going to complete my press first. Then when I'm done, here's my, here's my boundary with my toe. I come up, I bring my left foot up. Now as I push the left hand out, I'm going to sink into that left leg. Inhale, sink into the right leg. Then I'm going to scatter stars, right hand. Feet are still together, I'm taking it to the right leg. Left hand. And then as I come across the body, I'm putting my weight right here on the right leg. The left leg's empty. I'm dropping those arms, the right arm, looking over the shoulder. Man, what a twist. It really gets the neck, the shoulders, and the back. Here. Step. Three retreating steps. One. Two. Here I go into my re 
real in silk, and the back, young monk offers plum blossoms. Quickly change. So I love that move because you're going very slow here. Inhale, exhale. When you reach your boundary, you're going to change feet and hands. And you, you, your goal is to not let the feet go pum pum like this. One, two. It's to get them to come up and land together. Here. All one move. And then snake emerges. So it's strike. Snake emerges. So that's more or less the first section that we work on in class. Of course, you're learning the moves here in class as we break them down bit by bit. But the power of video is you get to rewind and watch back when you say, what did he just do? And then you get to go back and watch it. So again, this is the one we're doing in class. We've been focusing on it for a while. And just those of you that are watching that aren't members of our school, we'll spend probably a good two years, sometimes more, learning a form here in class, just to put it in your muscle memory. That's the beauty of Tai Chi. You can do it anywhere. You can wear any type of clothing. I remember in Hong Kong seeing people on their bicycle riding down the street in suits going to work. They pull over to the side, a little park, do Tai Chi, and then they get on their bike, go back to work. It's fascinating. So I really appreciate you guys being here with us. Thank you so much. Tune in for the next session.